No, it's one thing to have carpets cleaned. It's another thing. People think that when they have tile flooring or other types of uh, flooring that is not carpet related, that they could just blow it off or maybe just throw a quick mop or a Swiffer over it. When in actuality, that can get very dirty and grimy and gritty. And especially inside the grout and everything as well, can start looking really, really bad. Here to talk about cleaning your non-carpeted type of flooring and surfaces is uh, Krikor and Azniv from AquaCore. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, George. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, there are so many types of tile. What are some of the differences when it comes to cleaning and polishing? Um, basically, um, the different type of tile that we see is um, that we have stone tiles, porcelain tiles, and ceramic tiles. The most common one it will be porcelain tile. Um, that is on the market. Uh, the difference between a stone tile versus porcelain tile is that porcelain tile basically doesn't absorb anything. It will be just the grout because they are like 1% permeans. So that means that doesn't absorb water. And um, the stone tiles, they are basically 100% permeans because it's a stone. And um, the difference in process of cleaning and sealing they are different because on the porcelain tile you will be basically cleaning the cleaning the grout and tile and sealing the grout. On the stone you have basically to restore the entire stone tile and the grout and seal it. Exactly. Let's talk about travertine. That's like the 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 thing. The that most especially, common. Yeah, the most common. But how is it uh, when you're processing, cleaning, and polishing exterior surfaces like travertine? Do people have that kind of upscale. Yes, uh, a lot of people they have travertine, uh, indoor, outdoor travertines. Uh, we use also steam cleaning, so we don't mess around. We have a steam cleaning with the vacuum at the same time, so we'll be able to remove all the grease, germs, and dirt from the tile. Um, we use basically 180 degrees of water. Um, we're able, as I say, to remove all the residue from the tile. And then uh, there's a different type of process that I can do on travertine. I can basically have a hone finish. I can have a polish finish. Uh, that's the advantage between stone and porcelain, as I say. that On the stone, you can have a different type of look. You can change the look by the time um, porcelain, there is no way to change the look because it's a picture on top of the tile. Um, the most popular ones that I've been done is just the polish. As I say, you can refer to the Facebook. You can see the process. I have a lot of videos showing the process of my job, my labor on uh, travertine tile cleaning and the before and after. Now, um, ceramic tiles are not so common on ceramic tiles. And... Um, Basically, the process of the ceramic tile and porcelain, they're the same. Uh, they're a picture. And um, the most popular, and the, not the most popular, the most important thing is just a lot of people, they promote tile, tile and grout cleaning. I've seen it. Uh, they just go, clean your tile, and basically they apply the sealer at the same day. There is no way to apply sealer at the same day. The uh, reason why is because the grout is still wet. There is moisture on the grout. That, that moisture needs to evaporate. Uh, by the time that you're applying the sealer, it's not going to be effective because that moisture is going to be evaporated, so all the solids from the sealer is going to be on there. So it's not, it's not going to be doing the work. Uh, what I offer is just clean the tile, the grout, and I will come back the next day when basically the grout is totally dry. So by the time that I apply the, the sealer, it's going to absorb it, and it will stay. Um, that's one of my advantage of my system and you can notice majority of the people they basically they come my competitors they want to do it fast and quick because they have the next job tomorrow and they don't care about the ceiling and a lot of, of my customers they say oh I cleaned this tile eight months ago the carpet cleaning guy came clean it for me and they apply they say they apply sealer but basically uh, probably they use water based sealer uh, but water-based sealer doesn't work, to, to be honest with you. Uh, the only type of sealer that works for oil and water spills, we're talking about solvent-based sealer. 
Uh, you can search also by uh, Google the difference between water-based sealer and solvent-based sealer. And um, there's a price difference also buying two different types of sealer. But right now I have a special, uh, any type of tile, it doesn't matter if it's a stone or ceramic or porcelain. I have a special that is 69 cents per square feet for tile and grout cleaning. Uh, that will include the cleaning and neutralize the solution on the tile, um, plus additional the sealer. It depends on what type of sealer customers are going, if they're going top coating or penetrating sealer. But um, 69 cents, basically, I will cover per square feet uh, the tile and grout cleaning, and I have a minimum service charge of $95. Um, you can take advantage of that promotion right now. $95 minimum service charge or $0.69 cents per square feet. And Outstanding. Now, yeah. you can learn more by going to aquacore.com, A-Q-U-A-R-K-O-R.com. Also, your Facebook page, facebook.com slash aquacore. You can do a search. And also, give them a call, 904-1493 in the 661 area code. Uh, Krikor and Azneem, thank you so much for stopping by. And thank again, we wish you continued success in uh, your business.